Hello all, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll talk about certain Excel shortcuts and tips that are going to make your lives much easier, better, efficient, and of course, you're going to become super fast at Excel. So let's, let's jump straight into the video. So first of all, I'll talk about setting up the spreadsheet. So whenever you open an Excel spreadsheet, the empty spreadsheet will appear like this. There are going to be certain cells. Then we have the grid lines, as you can see, the lines, the horizontal and the vertical lines. These are known as the grid lines. Then we have an Excel ribbon here. Basically, this is the whole menu under which there are going to be different functions that you can perform on each cell. What I will do is, first of all, I would like to remove the grid lines here because that is going to give my spreadsheet a more cleaner look and a more professional look. So let's see how it is done. So for this, you need to press the shortcut on your keyboard that is Alt W V G. So as you can see, the grid lines disappear. So while working, if you want the grid lines back at any instance in time, so you can use the same combination again. That is Alt W V G and the lines will appear again. So let's just uh, get rid of these lines. After this, what we can do is we can make certain more formatting changes here. And for that, for example, this is the heading and I want it to stand a little apart from the other text or information that is given on the spreadsheet. So what I'll do is I'll press Alt H F F. So this is going to show me the font type that I would like to use here. So with the help of either the up or down arrow key, I can just select any of the font type. Now, if I want to change this font size, what I'll do is I'll press Alt H F S. As you can see, it is pointing to the size. Again, I can change it by using the arrow keys. Now, as you can see, this well stands apart from the other text here. So I can bold this text by using Control B. I can also add some colors. For example, I want to highlight the cell A1. For this, I will press Alt H H and you can see the color bar appears here. So I can just choose any color. I think this looks better now. Now I'll move on to the second part that is navigation. So how can we navigate swiftly across the sheets? For example, I have some data here that consists of certain rows and columns. Now, for instance, I would like to go to the last row of this tabular data. So what I'll do is either I can go by pressing the down arrow key again and again, or just keep it pressing till the time I reach the last row. But that is pretty cumbersome in case the data set is quite large. So what I can do is I can just press control and down arrow key. And as you can see, once I do this, I directly reach the last row. Similarly, I can go back by pressing control and up arrow key. This is as simple as that. Again, this can be done horizontally as well. So for example, I would like to go to the last column that is K. I'll just press control and right arrow key and I'll reach the column K. And again, back to column B by control and left arrow key. So this is how we navigate fast. Secondly, in this also, I would like to talk about how we can select a row and a column. Let's say, select the column A. So for that, I will press control and spacebar. As you can see, the whole column gets selected. And similarly for selecting a row, you can press shift and spacebar. And as you can see, I can select the whole row. Now let's say you want to add another tab. So for that, what you can do is, you can directly press shift and F11. So as you can see, after pressing this, I've got a new tab, that is sheet three. Now, for instance, I would like to delete this tab. I don't need this tab anymore. So what I can do is I can use Alt E L and you can see the tab got deleted. But please, a word of caution here, whenever you're going to delete a tab, be pretty mindful of the fact that once deleted, the tab cannot be recovered. So just use your discretion if you want to delete the tab or not. All right. After this, if you want to, let's say, rename the tab. So for that, you can press Alt H O R. So as you can see, now I can directly 
type whatever I want to. Let's say Excel tutorial. Let's say you want another spreadsheet. So I'm talking about a new spreadsheet, for example. So for that, you can press Control N. And you can see a new sheet just appears. Now moving on to the next part that is navigating among the tabs. So how can you do that? For example, if I want to move to the next tab sequentially, I can press Control plus page down. And as you can see, I have moved to the sheet too. Now, for example, I want to move back to Excel tutorial tab. So for that, I will press Control and page up. And this is how we navigate across the different tabs for the next part i would like to tell you how you can apply the filters to a tabular data if i want to apply let's say filter to this table what i'll do is i'll press Control, shift and end and as you can see it has selected all the data that comes under the purview of these heads and after this i'll press alt a t combination and now as you can see the drop down has appeared on the heads for example, let's say this is the column of net worth, the F column. So what I'll do is I'll go and press Alt and down arrow key in order to expand it. Say I want to sort, uh, let's say largest to smallest. Now this data has been organized on the basis of decreasing net worth. So let's say you want to return to the normal uh, sorting that was already done before. So you can just press Ctrl and Z. And if you want to do it again, then you press Ctrl Y. For example, I want to go back to the filter again, where I chose the descending order of net worth. So I'll press Ctrl Y. And as you can see, this is the result that we got earlier. For example, I want to freeze. For example, I want to freeze the data for the row three, two and one. And for let's say column C, B and A. I mean to say this will not move if my cursor goes away. For example, now I have moved my cursor far right to the AG column. Now, as you can see, all the columns disappear. But I still want to see the C column here. In that case, what you can do is you go to the D4 cell here. I'll press Alt W F F. Now, for example, I navigate to AG column. So you can see the first column or basically the C column is fixed now. And similarly, if I want to, let's say, move to the hundredth row, as you can see, the third row is fixed and I can see what global logistics supervisor is coming under. So it is coming under the head of job title. Now, as you can see, the email address is not appearing, let's say, uh, properly or some of the uh, characters are hidden here. And the same goes for, let's say, preferred food, preferred drink, preferred subject, or even preferred author. What we can do in this case is we can just select the whole data. So for selecting the whole data, what we can do is I can press Control, Shift, down arrow key, and then the right arrow. As you can see, the whole data is selected. I'll press Alt, H, O, A. So this is going to auto fit the rows in case something is not adjusting to the rows so it will automatically adjust to the rows and now i'll press alt h o i see the difference so now with alt h o i all the columns have been auto adjusted according to the maximum size of the cell so the next shortcut that i'm going to talk about is especially helpful whenever you need to format any cell let's say in the form of a number or a percentage, date, time, or for that matter, if you want to change the alignment of a cell, or you want to add certain borders or certain styles to a cell. For example, I have this net worth column, which is comprised of numbers. What I'll do is I'll select the data in net worth column. I will press Control, Shift and down arrow key, and I'll press Control plus one. So as you can see, this is the dialog box that appears, which says format cells. So let's say I say I don't need any decimal place. I'll say zero and I'll use a separator, a thousand separator. So basically there'll be a comma and I'll press okay. So as you can see, the numbers have been formatted. So for the next shortcut that is called the auto format, what you can do is you can just select the data, whatever you have, 
press control shift down arrow key and then the right arrow key and press alt o a so as you can see a dialog box called auto format appears and in this you can see there are a lot of styles to choose from and you can choose any of the styles that you want for example i'll choose this one and you can also go into the options and see what kind of adjustments or formats do you want to apply so i'll press okay and as you can see this has auto formatted the data that i have the next shortcut is also very helpful at certain times so for example i would like to know what the total net worth of all the 100 individuals is so what i can do is i can just press alt and equals sign together so as you can see this is going to auto sum all the values that are above this cell and i'll press enter so the next shortcut is very helpful so this is called the find and replace so for the preferred food let's say uh, instead of subway i would want something else so wherever subway has been written in this column i want to replace the word subway with let's say kfc so what i'll do is i'll just select the g column now what i'll do is i'll press control h so this asks to find what in this i will write subway and replace it with kfc so just go to replace all press enter and it says it has made four replacements so let's say i have a number 9576498 right and let's say i have another number 0.24 for example if i wanted to be formatted in the number form with separators and with also some decimals so i'll press control shift and one so as you can see this now has been converted into a proper number form with two decimal places and let's say i don't want any decimal here i'll press alt h9 and i'll again press alt h9 so as you can see this is going to reduce the decimal place and if i want to add the decimal place i'll press alt h0 and as you can see the decimal place gets added let's say for this number i want this number in the percentage form now it is given in the decimal form right or the fraction form so what i'll do is i will just go to the cell and i'll press control shift and 5 so as you can see the number has been formatted in the percentage form so the next shortcut is going to be something that displays the formula all across the sheet. For example, I have a formula that says the net worth of the first person plus the net worth of the second person and I press enter. So this is the number that I'm getting, right? For instance, there are a lot of formulae across the sheet. What I can do is I can press control and tilt. So you can see here, this is showing me the formula. See, earlier it was showing me the number, now it is showing me the formula. See, all these other values are hard-coded, hence we are seeing the direct values here. But since this was a formula in the M5 cell, so this is showing me the formula. And, or, and when I click on this cell, this is going to show me exactly the cells on which the operation has been done. For the next shortcut, it is going to be a dialog box named Go To that is going to appear. And there are certain operations that you can do with it. For example, I have this data here in the region column wherever there are blank cells I want Alaska to be written there so for that what I can do is I'll type Alaska here okay I'll press ctrl C and ctrl C is the combination key for copy now I will select the tabular data I'll press ctrl shift down arrow key and right arrow now what I'll do is, I'll press Ctrl G. As you can see, this is the go-to dialog box that has appeared. I'll press Special. And in this, I will press the blanks. Yeah. And I'll press OK. As you can see, all the blank cells in this data set have been selected. So now I will press Ctrl V. That is the shortcut for pasting. And as you can see, wherever there was a blank cell, it has now been filled with Alaska. So for the last step, I would like to tell you about the copy and paste functions. For example, 
I have a formula that says net worth divided by 10 raised to power 6. So this is going to give me the net worth in millions, right? I'll just press Control Shift 1 for the number formatting and I will say Alt H9, Alt H9. I hope now you would have got the gist of this formula as well. Now what I can do is I can just press Control C and I want to replicate this formula till the last row of this table. So what I can do is I'll just go to the 100th row and then I'll go to the M column. I'll press Control Shift and up arrow key till the second row. Now what I will do is this is the paste special that we use that is Alt E S. As you can see after pressing Alt E S I have got a dialog box since I need the formula here I'll press F and then enter. So as you can see the formula has been copied here but as you can see the format has changed or not uniform across. Now I want the format of this cell to be copied across all the cells. For this what I will do is now this is another copy function that is we'll press Control C and I will go down to the second row. I'll press shift, control and the down arrow key. And then I'll press again the combination of Alt ES. Now I want to copy the format of the cell that is M4 cell in all the cells beneath it. So what I will do is Alt ES and I will press T and that is for the format. You can directly click or you can press T. So this is going to as you can see replicate the format across all the cells. Now if I want to paste this as a value for example what I'll do is I'll press Alt ES again paste special and I'll press V. So this is going to paste this as a value and as you can see this is going to paste it as a value. In this if you press F2 you can see this is formula driven but if you press F2 here you can see in the formula bar this is the value. So this has been pasted as a value now. And one more shortcut that I would like to share is, let's say the cell is not displaying all the information. For example, in the preferred food, I cannot see the food, right? So what I can do is I can just press Alt, H and W. So this is going to wrap the text. I hope this has been a good learning experience for you all. And I wish all the best in your Excel journey. I believe this is going to help you a lot. Just try to imbibe and inculcate all these practices in your day-to-day -day routine while using Excel and I'm pretty sure that you'll be really good at it soon enough before you know it. So just keep learning. See you the next time. Thank you.